I'm back with another mask and tape treasures. <laughs> First and foremost, I'd like you to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. Today we're gonna be making a dragon. Now dragons, you know, they can be made in many different ways, many different forms, you know. So a, dr a dragon is not real. So you can make it any way you want. But I'm going to show you how to just uh, perform the basis of making a, a dragon. Okay, but first, you're going to need a few materials, okay? You're going to need paint brushes, acrylic paint, and masking tape 1.88 or any tape that you have and you're gonna need oh yeah paper plate play it again sam okay let's get started First, you want to make the head. We want to ball up some tape here. Like this, like so. See? I'm making a, you know, my dragon may be different from yours, but that's okay, that's okay. So I'm starting with, I'm making a nose. You see that? Then, man, I want to make his mouth open like he breathing fire. Okay. So I'm going to put this other one right at the bottom see then i want then the mouth in like a little scoop all right now dragons usually have little little uh things on his head so we're gonna put those on there Start with the head first. That's why I always do cut. Because then you can uh, get the head in proportion to the body. See that? I'm just going to put a couple of those on there. All right. Boy, I just had some greens. Mm, mm, mm. Some greens and some turkey and corn. All right. Gonna go like this, twist, twist, twist. Let me put it on this side. Now, I think I should just put three on there. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to put three on there. Okay. Then, we need to make some humps that, that be over the eye. So, I'm going to make those. You don't have to put them on there, but I choose to put them on mine. See that? Right there. And I'm, I'm going to do another one on the other side. I don't, I don't particularly like making dragons and stuff like that because they're not real. I try to, perf I, I, I do my classes, when I do my classes, sometimes I never make uh, dragons. 
because I want to make a specific animal that the that the kids never saw before. Most of my classes are for kids, but some of them for adults. And then adults, the adults enjoy when I do animals too. Because they think they can't make it. Okay. There you go. Now we got both of them on there. See that? Straighten this jaw up. There you go. All right. <clears throat> now let's start for the body. The neck first. Ay, ay, ay. Now you can make the neck long or you can make it short. I'm going to make my ass just a little long. Go like this. Let my thumb go. Go like that. See that? Now we're going to thicken this neck out. out. Yeah, we want to make the neck a little thick. How can you swallow a person? Uh oh. How can you swallow a person if your neck is not thick enough? <laughs> so, I'm going to place this here. Don't worry about. Don't worry about uh, you know the dents and stuff that's in the, in this, because we we want to put the skin on and cover it up. Okay, all right. Now we want to increase the uh, stickiness in the neck region. All right, so we're gonna just put a little piece of tape on there. Right here, right at the base of the neck. Yeah, because you don't want to, to have them created and you be standing there marveling over what you made. Then his head fall off. Do, 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 do. Yeah, because you have them painted and everything. So you want to get that neck. Make sure it's stuck down there. Here and go straight across like that. Okay, there you go. So we got the head anchored down. Now let's go for the body. Now you can make the body like here a serpent or four legs or two legs. You know, you can make him a bipedal. Make them bipedal, like standing up on two legs and have little short arms in the front. Anything. See that? All right. Keep in mind, the bigger you make, the more tape, tape is going to cost you. So don't make them too big unless you're sure that's what you want to do. Because if you make them too big, sometimes it takes too long and stuff like that. All right. There we go. Now we're going to keep, keep doing that. Keep, keep adding tape to the body until you get it to the desired size that you want. Okay. Just want to increase the body mass. Then we're going to go to the legs and the tail. Okay. 
Now, let's go to the tail. I think I'm going to make him standing up, kind of. Semi standing up, okay? So, we need to get two legs back here and a tail, okay? So, let's, let's start with the tail first. Should be longer than that, so let's get more. Make them, make them with a, a semi-long tail. Remember, uh, they're they're mythical creatures, so a dragon can be any form. Okay, that tail is. We're gonna place that right back here. We're going to taper it off at the end. Go back to the end and twist the end tight. See how I'm holding right here and then twisting back there? See that? That's so I won't twist the whole tail off. Now let's go to the legs. Want to make a hip first. See? A hip. And go to the other side. For the hips now. Now we're gonna put some legs on. Yeah, dragons, they're not real. Sorry. Sorry to tell y'all that, but they're not real. But there was something similar to dragons, which were dinosaurs. There were plenty of dinosaurs out. There were plenty of dinosaurs, you know. But they're different. Even the Komodo dragon that you may see on uh, National Geographic or something, they're not dragons for real. They're just big lizards. Big lizards. Okay. There you go. So he, he can he should be able to stand like this. And then we're gonna put the arms right here. Okay. Twist, twist, twist. Don't twist it too tight. Don't make it too little. But make it sort of like this. Okay? All right. Put claws, you know, see? Put claws on them. Put a little claws on them. 
So we want to take them and we want to go sticky side out now. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Like so. Okay? So we're going to go one here. You see that? We'll go like that. Then we're gonna do another one. Sticky side out. We're gonna do another one. We're just going to put three on, on the front. Remember, you're creating an illusion. Yeah, you're creating an illusion like it's a real dragon. But, y'all know that dragons are not real. There you go. So we got the claws there. We're going to put some, three of them over here. Then we're going to put three here and three here. Okay? Two more. All right. I'm going to put this other one on here. Oh, my goodness. Man, I didn't eat that turkey now. Shoot, now I ain't got sleepy. Ain't that about nothing? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I love turkey. Turkey is one of my favorite meats. Turkey, number one. Number two, fish. And then after fish, maybe chicken. That's it. The other ones I eat if they're available. There you go. Now we got to put the, the claws up here. Three claws. Oh, man. Just want to bend him back some. You can bend his neck in any way that you want to. You know, if you want to bend his neck back some like this, bend it on back. Go on here and do it. So there you go. All right. Just want to get the three claws on his hand. Now. Just want to twist that too. Twist, twist, twist. See that? And make it pointed at the end. Grab it close to the end and twist. And it'll be pointed like that. There you go. See that? All right. We need to get two more. Twist, twist, twist. Let's 
See? All right. Take a small piece and do it. Twist, twist, twist. Make it real pointed like that. All right. See? All right. Got three more to go. Then we put the skin on. Then we paint. In that order. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I love turkey. I don't think, uh, let me tell y'all, I saw uh, it was a duck, a Muscovy duck. It came around the library the other day. And I developed a, a love for this, this duck. It was beautiful and it was big too. It was real, it was huge. For a duck, it was bigger than the average duck, the Muscovy duck. So it would not fly. It wouldn't fly. So I thought maybe he had got injured or something like that. So, you know, I stood out there for almost two hours watching this duck. I was calling all these organizations uh, for that that come pick up pick up birds and stuff like that. Nobody was coming. It was kind of late in the evening. It was like at four or something. So I was preventing people from bothering the thing, you know, so and preventing other animals from coming to them, like dogs or something like that. And it made me feel sad, though, you know. It made me feel sad because this duck didn't have any water to go to or anything because it was no water, no little stream or pond around. So he was just a sitting duck. <laughs> he was just a sitting duck. And I... I stood there and watched them all the way till five something. Then at five, I was doing, I was looking at my phone because the wildlife people was texting me. And they still haven't got there yet. So, and I had to leave at six o'clock. So I was telling them, explaining to them that I had to leave at six o'clock. They're the closet. I had to leave at six o'clock. And I said, I'm leaving at six o'clock. Please, please come and help this duck. Please come and help him. They said, we, we're going to try to come as, as soon as possible. So I, I sat there. And then when I put the phone down, I looked over to my, to my right. This duck had got close to me. At first, he wouldn't li even let me catch him because I tried to catch him. And he would just run. <laughs> waddle then, you know, waddle after. Man, and I said, man. And this duck was standing near me. I said, oh, man. And then all of a sudden, he started looking around. Like, looking, looking here and there, here and there. Then, all of a sudden, he took flight. Shoo, shoo, shoo. And he had a, a long wingspan. It was long. Like, like this. A wingspan. It was long, and he just, and it was so beautiful. And it was in the evening time, and it was just getting dark, just getting ready to get dark. Man, this was, it was so beautiful when he flew off, man. And I said, go, little man. I had named him Lucky. I said, go, Lucky, go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, look, it's ready. This is my version of the dragon. But like I said, you can have any versions that, you know, you can make yours any way you want to. Just experiment a little bit. A little bit of water. Mm. Okay. Now we got to... Story.
story time. This story time is called Grapevine. <laughs> Grapevine. Okay, back in 2009, it's when I first discovered this wonderful thing. It was in 2009. I happened to be sick, real sick. Sick, so sick I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up and I couldn't go to work. So I was laying there and I had congestion and I don't know, I thought I had pneumonia and I had weakness in my muscles, in my arms and legs and everything. So I couldn't move. And then my big sister has a part in this. I asked her to bring me some grapes. Okay. So she brought me a big goofy bag like this. Big bag. And it had huge grapes in there. But they had the seeds in them. So when she brought it to me, this is the only thing that was palatable. palatable you know, that I could take, keep down because I have, I was throwing up too. So I start eating these grapes. You know, I ate that whole bag. I ate that whole bag. I sat up there and ate that whole bag. And within an hour, an hour and a half, I start feeling 100% better. To where I got up and went to the restroom and went and ate something and everything. So, after, see, and I was inadvertently eating the seeds with the grapes. So, I wasn't spitting the seeds out. I was just, just eating them, just eating the grapes because I was so weak and everything like that. So, I said, man, what? What is it? So later on that week, later on that week, I went online and start trying to find out what what kind of properties do grape have grapes have in them that could it could heal you so, so quick, you know. So I, I searched the internet and I found a grape seed extract which they they was telling them about and it and I it it just told it just said that it had a a high anti-inflammatory uh, antioxidant in it so you know I said wow hmm so grape seed has a very high content of uh antioxidants in it and it has polyphenol phenols in it. And it has flavonoids in it. Okay? So the, the antioxidants is what repairs cells. It repairs your it repairs cells. Basically, what, what it does. Uh it uh uh the uh and it also it's good for your liver, your pancreas, and your pancreas, and your stomach lining, okay? I found this out by researching, you know, researching. And it, look, I encourage you, don't listen to me. I am not a physician. I am not a physician by far. I'm just a layman that stumbled across something that was out already, but a lot of people just don't talk about it. And I've been preaching this since 2009. So I'm trying to extend it off to you guys. I encourage you to go and research grapeseed extract, okay? Grapeseed extract. So it's good for the skin, your skin too. It, it helps with the elasticity in your skin. You know, so your skin can stretch. 
because I've been taking uh, grape seeds since 2009. Not the type, I've been eating grapes with seeds in it since 2009. But after that, I found grape seed extract, the peel. I wish I had my peel bottle in here to show y'all, but y'all understand what I'm saying. There are capsules like this. They're easy to swallow, they, and, and that's it. You can take two or three, all right? So, and, uh, you know, these uh, uh, grape seeds have been uh, known to increase uh, uh, nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide. And that, that nitrous oxide is good for your veins. It's good for your veins, okay? Very good for your veins. Nitrous oxide, you know, and uh, it helps lower blood, lower your blood pressure. Lower your blood pressure. And it blocks estrogen in men. Okay, so if you're a man and you take grape seeds like every day, it will lower your estrogen count substantially so so once once you it it uh once it lowers your uh estrogen count it uh it helps with your nitrous oxide too and that helps with testosterone okay testosterone so with, when your estrogen level goes down, your testosterone level goes up. Okay, it it, it helps. Uh, man, it's it's been bene it's beneficial to your blood pressure too. You know, it keeps your blood pressure at the way it's supposed to be at, and it it aids in weight loss. You know, it aids in weight loss by speeding up your metabolism. So, if you take this grape seeds for a while, you'll you'll see a notice that you, you know, you start losing weight because with, with it speeding up your metabolism, your metabolism burns fat, you know, straight up, straight up. And I'm trying to turn this light out. Yeah, it, it burns fat. There you go. Yeah, it, it burns fat. And, and I know a lot of, a lot of people who would, would, it would benefit from it. If they they got to take it first, but don't take my advice from it. You can take my advice and then go to online and look it up. Okay, look it up, and if it's right for you. But here's a here's a uh, a little thing here. If you have high blood pressure, if you take any medications or anything, especially medications that uh, stops you from coagulating your, your blood, you know. So if you take a blood thinner or anything like that, I advise you to contact your physician and ask him, is it okay, can, can I take this grapeseed extract, okay? Make sure you do that. If you got high blood pressure, do not take them until you talk to a doctor, okay? Because uh, my my best friend took uh, just took grape seeds, and he was taking high blood pressure medicine. And all of a sudden, he started getting low blood pressure. So he went back to the doctor, and they, they told him, uh, look, we're going to have to lower your dose of your medicine now. You see? So if you got high blood pressure and you start taking grape seeds, grape seeds help lower your blood pressure too. So with you taking medication for lowering your blood pressure and then grape seed, that's a no-no. So contact your physician. Contact them. Yep. Yep. And, and, and studies show it, it, it helps you grow hair. Y'all man can't tell, but I can. My my hair grows. See, I have male pattern baldness. Male pattern baldness. So 
right dead in the center is a little circle you know so i cut i cut my hair all the time i cut my hair just about every day or every other day because it grows and when it grows i start looking like hey <laughs> i'm bozo the clown i'll be looking like bozo so that's why i i cut it down all right but it does help in growing growing hair okay and i just cut my beard it was longer than this remember but this this will be back in the next couple of days so i'm telling you grape seeds have plus it has more benefits than i i mentioned it than i mentioned so if you if you would please go online look up grape seed extract look up grape seed extract and it, it oh and it also helps uh with uh a, a long with your longevity with your longevity it's an anti agent form formula so it'll uh make you feel healthier i can i can't describe it but i'm telling you every Every time I feel like I'm uh, 30 or 30 something or 40 years old, I do. I do. So, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, let's get back to our dragon. But get online and check out grape seed extract. Okay? Grape vine! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna put the skin on. Start up top this time. Start with the neck. Because that's the longest. So just wanna smooth the tape around here. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. All right. Want to go like so? You see that? All right. Now we want to go to the head. I'm gonna tear small strips like this, and we just gonna go across here. Playing, paying close close attention to these little spikes on them. We want to go over those too. Because we want to make sure they stuck in position. All right. All right. Tear small pieces again. We're going to go up under the chin. Okay, we go on small pieces now just to get the head together, get the mind right. Just want to get the head right. Yeah, those grape seeds are something else. I talked about them before a long time ago. Well, not that long ago when I first started. You know, so. But, you know. And make sure y'all drink plenty of water. I've been telling y'all because water is one of the bases of life. So drink your water. 
I know it's tasteless and odorless and stuff like that and colorless. But it quenches the thirst. So drink your water. And do some moderate exercise. This moderate exercise. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. I'll be starting my Tai Chi tomorrow. I've done it before, but this time I got a CD and everything like that to just to show you some more uh, columns that you have to do. So I will be starting tomorrow. I like Tai Chi because it's a, it's like it's sort of like a form of meditation, or uh, and it's stretching involved and stuff like that. So I just want to keep my myself limber, you know. Try to keep myself limber. Yeah. Tai Chi Chong was a. Uh, I guess it was a fighting style back in the day, but now they Tai Chi is used for an exercise. It's like slow fluid movements, slow flu fluid movements. So I think that's what uh, David Carradine did, but he speeded up, you know, speed everything up and tried to use it as a as fighting and stuff like that. But Tai Chi was is not like that. Tai Chi is not for fighting. I took all the fighting stuff before. I didn't took jujitsu. I didn't took uh kung fu and a little judo. And I wrestled. So that's all out the way. Now I just want something to 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 calm me down to for, so I can be peaceful. And it's and, and it, when you be peaceful, you uh you cut down on stress, a lot of stress, a lot of stress, because sometimes it's hard to to beat stress. But to keep my cortisol levels down, you know, cortisol is what causes you to feel upset or depressed or something like that. So keep your cortisol levels down. Keep your cortisol levels down. Drink plenty of water. Do moderate exercise. And check out the grapeseed extract. All right. So we got them just here. I'm going on the arms now. See? See, he looked better already. Gonna go over the other arm. Try to go around the base of the claws. Just around the base. See that? Yeah, go around the base of the claws. Now we got to get the other arm. Yeah, I made a, a three-headed uh, dragon. I don't know if y'all saw that on the beginning. But it, it, it flicks so fast, but, you, you know... So we just want to tear small pieces like so and just go around the hand. Go right around the base of it. Right around the base of the, the claw. See that? Look cool, don't it? All right. Now let's finish the rest of the body off.
Then we got to do the tail. Now we're going to go to the hips. Fish and chips with the hippie hippie hips. Before the tune ends, give me some lips. Saturday Crystal, my niece, St. Lady Kazan, my homegirl. Peace. All right. See? Now we got to go down this leg. Okay. I'm trying to do this fast. But I'm trying to do it so that y'all can see what I'm doing, too. Yeah. Just trying to do it kind of fast to, to cut time on the video. Man, one day I had, I did a video. And some way or another, it got lost. I don't know where the video was at. Was at. And I had already made the item already. So I wasn't going to do it again. The next morning, I found it. It was in a some other folder somewhere. But I found it, and then I uploaded. It's crazy. Especially when you're trying to edit, you know, when you uh, start editing, because I was finished with it, finished with the video, I was just finna upload, but then when it, when it came time to upload, I looked and I couldn't find the video, so I, I tried to Man, it was just, it was terrible that, that night. And it was getting late, and I was tired. So I said, man, I need to get some rest. Forget this. Shoot, forget it. Then the next morning, I, I discovered it. You know they say you're supposed to get at least six to eight hours of sleep. I doubt if I get that. That's the one thing I need to improve on. That's what I need to improve on. Getting more sleep. Because that helps too. See, your body repairs itself, you know, while you're sleeping. It does. Yeah, it repairs while you sleep. So the more sleep to get you get, the more repairs. I always say. <laughs> yeah, we got to I got to start getting more sleep. It ain't like back in the day, you know, when your father and your mom was, you know, was big balling and shot calling out here. They would not get sleep, but their body would break down, you know. So I try to take information from my parents and my uncles and everything like that to see how, how I'm going to structure my life. A lot of these kids don't do that. A lot of them don't do that. They see what made you successful or what you failed in or and stuff like that. You check that out and analyze it and then you do the opposite. You do the opposite. Yep. Yeah, I saw them. They wasn't getting no sleep. And you say something about it. They say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't need that much out of sleep. They would brag about not sleeping. 
Shoot, I only got two hours worth of sleep. And I'm back up again and going back to work. They were bragging about it. But in the long run, your body uh, breaks down. So on or later. I don't know about y'all, but I want to live a long time. I want to be around when, when my kids get of age, when my kids just get married, or when whenever my kids accomplish something. I want to be able to to be there under my own power. That means I'm walking normal and everything. That's that's why I'm like I am today. I am. I'm, that's why I'm like I am today because I want to be around. I want to be healthy enough to walk. Maybe dance. Yep, dance, walk, everything. So, if that's wrong, then I'm wrong then. But, and that's why I'm talking about the grape seeds today. Just try to tell y'all what works for me, and it helps me. It really helps me. That's why I'm not getting real fat. Because, you know, obesity, you know, cause problems too. That's a different story, but it causes problems. So, anything you can do to speed that metabolism up. Like people be saying, well, you got a good metabolism, boy. You got a good metabolism. Boy, you never, you eat, you eat all that stuff and then don't, don't even gain nothing. That's because my metabolism yep. All right, now, there we go. Dragon. Now let's put some little claws on the end of the toes. Little claws. All right, yes, gotta have claws on there. Yes, yes, yes. You can make them any, your drag in any form that you want. It's cool. Shoot, I ain't mad at you. It's cool. All right. And another on this foot. I'll show y'all in a minute. Hold on. Show y'all the claws in a minute. The fingernails. Well, not fingernails, but claws. See that? See? There you go. So we want to put a little tape right around the back of there. Right around the back of here. Put a little piece of tape on there to anchor it down. Because it'll fall off. Trust me. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but it will fall off. So just put tape over it, just right at the base of it. Look. Right there at the base. See how, see how I'm folding over? Just put it on there, press it down on it, and you're good. All right. Because it will fall off. 
I always anchored it down. But well, one day when I had a class one day, I failed to tell everybody to anchor the claws down. It was on a bear or something. So people stuck it on there. They, they didn't anchor it down. In a couple of days, when I saw the bear again, it was missing a claw or two. I said, what happened to the claw? And then I thought, I said, oh my goodness, I forgot to tell them to anchor it down. Yeah, I had to learn that lesson. But I don't let it happen no more. I always tell them to anchor down the claws. Just put a little small piece of tape on it. And anchor it down. That's it. That's all you need to do. All right. All right. There's, there you go. Yeah, make sure you put nails on all the claws. On all the extremities that need them. All right. And twist, twist, twist. All right. Now we got one more down here on the foot to do. Twist, twist, twist. Twist. Oh, no. There we go. Twist, twist, twist. All right. All right. There you go. There you go. That foot. We're going to put some tape over there. All right. Yeah, that's uh that's the benefits of keeping it you know, tearing a piece of tape and then putting it on the other finger because you can just reach over, tear that off, and continue. Or you can get better than that, tear three pieces. And just, you know, go on and put it on there. And that's it. Now, Got the, the feet done. You got a pedicure. All right. Now we got to do the manicure. Right quick. So we can get to the painting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna stick it on there. What is going on with you? Did you play with me? Don't play games with James. Don't play games with James. All right. You wanna do this other one here? Uh. All right. And we put another one here. We're just going to do them all in one wop. Do all of them in one wop. Now I need three more. Once I put this one on, get three more for the other side. Then we're done. Beam on down to the other side. I want to see your angel eyes. I want to see your angel eyes. I just want to stay all night. Holy baby. Holy. I just want to love you like nothing, baby. Nothing. Mm. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all don't know nothing about that. 
but that was a cool song. It was called Angel Eyes. It was like a techno song. Maybe it came out in the 80s, the mid 80s, early 80s. All right. It's called Angel Eyes. All right. Okay, there you go. This is the last claw. All right. Last claw. Now, I need to cover those. Look at this. Look at this. Look. So. Put one here. Go around it. Take the other one. Go around. Take the other one. Go around it. All right, take another one. Go around that one. Now we need two more. We done. Let's tear. Go around. All right, I think we got it completed now. Now, check it out, assess it, assess it. Press any tape down that's visibly sticking up. Check, check it whole body, check his whole body. All right, now there he is. All right. Now we got to determine what color he's made. Now uh, we gonna I'm gonna make mine. You know, y'all know which colors I'm going with. Deep blue and orange, and maybe a little green and a, a little yellow. Well, the chest is gonna be yellow. All right. We're gonna get our. Uh, Brush. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. I like to move it, move 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 it. Okay. We want to mix this this up. Do it any color you want, cause it's your art. Don't let nobody tell you. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. All right. Just want to just go over his arms lightly. Oh man, this one, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, this was from a shorty at work. He came into the library and he asked me to create a dragon. And his name was Kenny. I can't tell y'all his last name because, you know, but his name's Little Kenny. 
I made your drag. I'm making your dragon, okay? All right. That's why I told y'all to give me some, you know, insight on stuff to make. Give me some insight on what to make. Leave it on this site or you can go to my site, maskandtapetreasures.com. And I'll get it done. And I will mention your name on my site. Yeah. All right. So we're almost finished here. We want to go on to the face. Kind of leave the mid section like as is because that's going to be a lighter color, okay? But if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Do it the way, the way you see a dragon. Because art is an expression. And it's a form of expression. And you express yourself by doing art. And the way you see it. Nobody else can't see the way you see it. All right. Just want to get around this. Now we got the neck done. See? Oh. All right. There you go. Now we want to go to the body. I'm leaving my the belly unpainted on purpose because the belly is going to be a different color. And I encourage you to, to experiment with colors. Experiment with them. Maybe some maybe you want to lighten it up, add a little white to it. Just a little bit. Start with a little bit white. When you're trying to, to soften the color out, start. Real small, a real small dot of, of paint, maybe white paint. Just start with a little small dab, a dollop of uh, whatever color you, you, you're trying to lighten up. And when you get to the desired, uh, the desired lightness of it, then you're good. Like, if you want to make a, a nice gray or a dark gray, put a little white and some black. And just put little by little, little by little, until you get it the way you want it. If you want to make a pink, put a little white into the red. And just... Just keep stirring and it, stirring it in, stirring it in until you get the desired softness that you want. All right. Y'all, I'm, I'm getting sleepy now. I think I'm going to take it on in after this. Take it on in. All right. Yeah. Make sure you don't paint the the claws. You're gonna you're gonna paint the claws, but 
they're going to be white. Or they're going to be black. Depends on how I feel. Sure. Yeah. Make the make the claw the claws black or white. Or whatever color you want to make it. Fudge ripple. Shoot. Okay. Just want to. Oh boy. Man, I'm sleepy. All right. Just want to just finish these little legs off. Under the bottom, Man, it's taking mighty long for me to do this leg. Maybe that's why I don't like doing dragons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tend to, you know, tend to get annoyed with the uh, mask and take treasure if if I got to keep doing stuff in reputation or it's taking too long. But I do it for y'all. <laughs> nah, but it's, it's cool. It's cool. Now I'm coming up on the end. Do this last little claw. Then we're going to paint the claws. Like, I'm going to paint mine black. Hope y'all don't mind, but hey. That's what I want to do. It's my art. <laughs> mine! Mine! <laughs> yeah. It's y'all's. So, whatever you do, it's cool with me. All right, there you go. Now, now I got to do the tail. So I'm going to grab right here. You see where my fingers are? Right there. Then I'm coming down with the tail. Yeah, this one. See, a lot of these, a lot of these that I create, I take them to the job. You know what I create for y'all. I take them to the job and I just put them up on the shelf. And when little kids come in there, they say, oh, I love that. I love that. I say, you love that? Yeah, here. And I give it to them. Yep, so I give it to him. They know uh, I'll give them any of the stuff that I got on display. But it's a lot of stuff that I don't give them that, that's on display. That I want to, that comes with a set. But they can buy it though. They can buy it. But, you know, if it comes with a set, you can't get it. You can buy the whole set. That's cool. Let's see, look at that tail. Look at that. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now, we want to get a little black block. Oh, that's green. Where is the block? Block. Here we go. I'm gonna get a little black. Just 
just want to just put little streaks on it. Little streak. See this this is this is the way I'm making masks. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. See, I want to make masks like so. So that's it. Yeah, I want to make masks like this. How can you be mad at that man? Huh? Shoot. Just want to come down with it. All right. See? Just want to come come across with Yeah. See. Now I'm finna do the claws. With the same black, I'm gonna do the claws. Ain't nothing to it. Just want to make them black or white. If you make them white, they'll stand out, though. Yeah, it'll really stand out. But I want to go against, see? I really want to go against that. Because sometimes they do show up black. Claws. Claws, that is. Make sure that y'all anchor them down, though. Because if you don't anchor one claw down, I'm telling you. It's going to fall off. You have been warned. You have been warned. They will fall off. But they on that sturdy. I can actually pick them up by holding one of his, his fingernails. Okay. Now we got that. Now we need to get another brush. We want to touch touch up where I missed, yeah, you know, a couple of spots. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take another brush. Go around with it. Just go around the claws. Okay. Now, we want to get some white because that's going to be for the top, the horns on the top. So, I got another brush, dipping it in, and then I'm going to paint these white. Or you can paint them red or whatever color. So, this is like his crown.
Baby, baby. Okay. Well, just want to try to make sure I get, you know, all of it. Okay. Now we, uh, want to get the inside of those eyes. Okay. Now we want to get in the mouth. Now, if you want to paint it red, a little red, I'm going to use red. So, you know, we can get the, the sense of like it's probably fire. Or that he ate somebody. <laughs> yeah. You want to paint the inside of the mouth a little red. Now, now we got that. Now, all we got to do is do the rest of them white or yellow or whatever color. So we're going to go with a yellow. Yellow and a little white. So here we go. Like a tangerine. Tangerine. Crunch, 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 crunch. What was it? Was that? No, it was figurines. Y'all remember figurines? Y'all probably don't, but figurines was for losing weight. It was like a little snack thing that they used to sell. I don't know why they took that off, but Maybe it turned into something else, but, or maybe it got people sick or something. Figurines. My fate belongs to figurines. No, it said my shape belongs to figurines. My shape belongs to figurines. Yes. All right, now we're coming to the grand finale now. We're coming on down. All right. Okay, now, wait, I better touch these touch up on the sides and then I gotta get this tail now y'all could have painted the whole tail whatever color y'all painted the body or you could have left some of it to paint a different color like I did all right yeah, I messed up too with doing that. I, it, it makes it look nice, but man, it take it's taking a little too long. All right. Okay. There he is. Make sure I get some yellow over here. Now we gotta get the eye on there. We're gonna take the back of the brush. 
take it and put it whatever color you want the eye to be. See? So, with that, then I'm going to come with my black. Of course, it's not going to stick there. But eventually, if you keep mixing the color in there, it's going to come out the color that you want. All right, then we'll do the other side. Man, mm, mm, mm. There you go. All right. Just want to get a, a nice amount of black this time. There we go. Our dragon. All right. Oh man, I've never, I missed some some of his feet. Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, look at it first before y'all say you're done with it. Because this always can be some more improvements that you put on there. Sorry. Thought I was finished. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. There we go. Hold on. Got to do the right on the side there. Mm -mm -mm. I missed a lot of spots. Okay, now, wait a minute, where am I going to sit this joker? Sit you right there. Okay, y'all, thanks for viewing my Mask and Tape Treasures. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. And hit that bell notification. Hit that bell notification so you'll be up on every video that I put out and share 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 my videos so everyone else can have this experience too all right peace adios salamit